Fire department, what's the location of the emergency? Yes, I have my husband bleeding. I don't know what they What happened? Him. They shoot him. I don't know. Who shot? Him. I think Who shot him? I don't know. Excuse me? Who shot him? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's a police outside. I have my clothes open, but I have my feet in the room. And I don't... And he's all, Where is he? Uh, where's your husband at right now? He's, he's on the floor. He's inside the house? Yes, he's on the floor. He's... <laughs> well, Mama told me when I was young, she'd sit beside me, my only son, and listen closely to what I say. And if you do this, it'll help you some sunny day. I... And let's start in Arizona, where a SWAT raid went wrong and left a two-tour former Marine dead. You see, SWAT teams had targeted a series of houses and an ongoing drug investigation. And when they got to the house of the former Marine, Jose Garena, he had already been alerted by his wife that someone was outside. So he grabbed his rifle. But before Garena could remove the safety from his rifle, he was greeted by more than 60 bullets from law enforcement. And sadly, the incident gets even worse. Turns out that as the wife was trying to help her dying husband, the SWAT team refused to let anyone attend to Garena, leaving no hope for him to survive. After a request from the local press, the wife's 911 call was finally released to the public. I need you to get a clean cloth and apply a light of on a person. I can't. I can't. I can't do that. There's a bunch of people outside of my house. I don't know what the hell she's happening. Okay. Go ahead. I need to get a clean cloth. 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 I need to get a
and there are ways of limiting this practice so more Americans are killed. I think uh, we need to show support uh, to this family, but I think we need to honor him as a Marine and that he uh, risked his life uh, for our country, regardless of our opinions of these wars. And law enforcement has to be um, noble enough and honest enough to look at its own and to look at itself and say and admit openly we've been part of the problem just like the judiciary and the legislative branches and the corruption that's going on in our country and the destruction of America and the destruction of our Constitution we in law enforcement own part of that and we've got to clean our own house and that's why I am ready to go down to Tucson I feel very dedicated to this and we need to show these people this family that there are cops who believe this was wrong and that's what I want to do not in two years not in two months not in two weeks standing with this family is right and I think our speeches have got to be tactful and to the point but also very patriotic to memorialize this man who was killed and to support this family I know Sheriff Clarence Dubnik and I also know that he's wrong and he's been wrong about a lot of things and when cops are wrong, I'll say so. If they're right, I'll say that too. And this was wrong.